so our windows 7 machine has been created now we want to join it to our windows server 2019 we're gonna run the windows server while doing the um, a configuration on windows 7 so in the meantime in this uh, server can run <coughs> so to join a domain we have to actually go and make uh, this computer uh, be able to connect to domain right now it's a um, work group so what we have to do is basically uh, show up the my computer icon so we can click on this one or <coughs> network let's do that so computer icon shows there the easiest way to change from work group uh, to domain is right click on com my computer um, and click on change setting so basically this is a 10 day, 10 day um, activation window all right uh, so for computer description don't um, mix with this one has a computer name it's just a description to actually rename the computer or domain you have to click here and you see it's a Windows 7 PC and it's part of a work group we're gonna change it to um, our um, domain and in order for that uh, we are just waiting for our server to go up live uh, because it's gonna give us a um, prompt if this is the correct domain it will prompt us to enter a username and password uh, and once uh, it, it's a get uh, authenticated this machine will restart so whatever you do on this screen whether you change the PC name let me enter the password here so whatever you do on this machine if you just simply changing the password uh, it's like uh, generic and it's too long and difficult and you're just not uh, changing this uh, it will ask you to restart the computer if you are not keeping the same computer name but uh, changing the work group just like uh, work group domain just like we're doing right now it will ask you to uh, restart the computer and we're gonna see that it will so before I just wanted to go uh, into manage and click on tools active directory users and computers I just wanted to make another user and make sh and see if it uh, uh, gets uh, updated over here and this one is taking ah you see right there same thing so this one is saying no internet access to all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we can right click here new or we could do it from here uh, new whatever your preference is you said user you put the first name George uh, you put the last name Bush and that's the full name user logo name we're gonna use just Bush and we're gonna click next we're gonna give it a password user must you cannot change password password never expires and uh, let's do this now this is done we're gonna click OK here could not be okay now uh, we see it's imran.local here uh, maybe because they are not this one does not have internet yep change connection properties this one <coughs> available networks nothing is available all right ethernet adopters options you see this message it says control.exe for some reason advanced sharing option network and sharing center works and then you click on Ethernet and then go to its properties 
you can <coughs> and here what I did was this maybe it's the default gateway or something let's click OK here and see if it gets connected here and it did all right that's good I did that settings uh, to make sure that uh, my domain um, get the basically my pixie boot from its uh, pixie boot video I did the settings to make sure that when the client goes online it can get to the domain and can get the installation file uh, we can try now one more time and see if it all right no it cannot be all right so I'm gonna cancel 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 let's try to restart this machine and see what happened uh, I know Run CMD here IP config see what ah B4 address 172.17.49.198 so for some reason we are getting this address so what are we getting here Right, that's internet connected let's see MD IP config 172.17.49.205 okay can we try now the domain join it details DNS name does not exist okay we can try one more thing uh, properties uh, remote settings hello do that and do I have to do anything else thinking ah, I'm right here now I'll try to change it to main and see DNS okay so all right let's do this go here go to this setting uh, either not local area connection properties go to IPv4 properties and no uh, DNS we gonna put the this computer's IP can address in there so let's do that 172.17.49.198 so okay 49.19 and you see uh, this will go internet access so for internet we're gonna put eight 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 you know close close and now we still have internet access good now we can try to change it 
So basically what's happening is when it goes online to um, Google and asks for this, uh, uh, no, when it asks for this uh, domain, it can't find it. Now I'm hopeful that it will work. No? Wow. Could not be contacted. Domain controller. Okay, that's uh, IPv4 address, default gateway. Let's restart this machine and see what happens. <clears throat> I do not check the settings. Server settings are for uh, network default switch. What is it taking for Windows 7? Is it default switch? Network default switch. Can't. So let's log in one more time. And check what is the Come on. What's got it into you? All right, and um, internet access keep going up on me. CMD IP config. Same address 172 17 198. Check this one here. Properties V4. Ah, right there. You see, it's 1749. And we made the mistake here. And we did the Forty nine one ninety eight. I believe it should work now. Um, round dot local. You see right there. That was the mistake. So you have to enter the server's uh, address. Now it's going to ask us uh, for the username password, and we created that uh, new account. So we're going to use that one and enter the pass account with permission to join the domain. Yeah, bus. And uh, let's give it the password. If I'm not mistaken, if the password is right, it will ask you to restart the computer. Welcome to the mron.local domain. Okay. And you must restart computer to apply these changes. All right. It's a good thing we did this video. And uh, it's a very good thing that that error came because since it's a trial and error channel, um, it's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dumb folded and uh, uh, leaved at the same time. All right, so my com if this computer uh, since is connected now, it's gonna ask for the domain username password. We can uh, use any domain uh, username and password to work on this Windows 7 machine. Uh, we have a few over here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our uh, Active Directory users and computers 
and we're gonna see if the this Windows 7 machine uh, shows up on, or in there and if we click on computers you see Win 7 PC showed up and this is the other computer that's uh, showing up here uh, what happened to test uh, and test uh, one and two why they are not here all right so basically it's saying you want to log into your local account that is win7 pc slash win7 or oh this is win7 is the admin account we should change it no we, sh we should first go and change that to admin <coughs> so basically that's uh next time we would know uh, it's asking us for the admin manage credentials windows 7 user account properties username admin is traitor all right oh cool cannot be changed okay all right so we just have to remember that this is the uh, admin account local admin uh, we can leave with that and uh, now we can go ahead uh, actually log off and switch user and we can click on other user username and it's saying log on to Imran that's giving us our domain we can put the bush and we can give the password all right so this computer uh, Windows 7 is now connected to our um, domain uh, it showed up there so this was it <coughs> once I get to the desktop I think that's uh, what ought to be done and it is connected up and running and we can move forward to the next step that is to fire all the machines and see them in Active Directory it's taking uh, more than usual Win 7 PC um, this counter I have uh, like 150 days a few months but for Windows 7 I have only 10 days so it's not uh, I thought that was a evaluation copy This Windows 7 is taking forever. Uh, we have to wait for it. We want to make sure that we get to a desktop and we are actually connected. So, be here with me. I feel like I should um, 
pause the video here we are getting to nothing uh, it's just the welcome screen and nothing else it should not take that long okay oh wow it took <laughs> um, its time but the good thing is you can see that it has internet access it is joined to imran.local and it has the firefox install like uh, the previous one and it has internet and if we can click over there you see so internet is working the machine is joined uh, we can verify it by you can see this uh, there's no my computer here and is there any network over the network what do we see we have to oh. <laughs> admin one seven I'm hoping that this takes the local administrator account. I will know if it does or not. Nope. It has to be the administrator account of this one. Uh, we can do that. Uh, no, use another account. It should be Im for Imran. Uh, it, oh, it's, it's actually saying domain name. And so it has to be a domain administrator to open that setting. Nothing showing up here. If we go to our server and check the network, what do we see? Just this one. So nothing else. Okay. alright so this machine is connected to the domain now you can see it does not say the um, network name uh, that uh, network access or your ethernet port it's saying imran.local so it is connected that's a good thing we're gonna shut this machine down now and <coughs> I'm gonna see if we refresh the list over here do we see the Windows 7 PC there yes it is connected and join so what happened to Windows 10 in that machine uh, let's run them oh, that should be in the next video all right so that's how you uh, domain join Windows 7 uh, to your server 2019 um, and this is it it was very easy I just made it difficult because I forgot and Hyper-V is giving me some troubles uh, with all that but it's a good thing it happened uh, it refreshed my memory and hopefully I will not make the same mistake again thank you for watching and have a good night